guys, welcome to Dee Dee's Art. So okay, let's get on with part two of um, Buddy, I think he's called, Buds. Um, this is the Karen's dog. He belongs to a friend called Karen, a friend of mine called Karen. Um, so uh, I don't, don't think she knows I'm drawing him, unless she's subscribed to my YouTube and has noticed I am by now because I uploaded part one yesterday of the eye so she may know by now but may not just be saying anything <laughs> but I'm not saying anything until I finished him um, I'm not telling you what I'm doing here because basically I'm not going to be doing this bit I'm just doing this while I'm talking to you I'm just putting like little flashes of fur in with my to H because it's missing it's some fur up and around this eye for the fur to actually be it's actually quite dark in here but I will come back to all that anyway and um, we jiggle it all around especially up here because this is quite dark up on this bit and notice how I'm using like a feathered tapered motion with my pencil. I'm sort of like putting it on the paper and then lifting it off at the end. So it is off, off at the end, off so it doesn't leave an end as light as possible. But if you do it fast, it's sort of like you can get. like edginess of a fur a detail thing <laughs> the edginess that you need so right um where were we gonna start with this ear oh my dear my lord um i think i'm gonna need my darkest but yet hardest pencil so i think i'm gonna use my 2b because I can get this sort of tush point that as it shows on the beginning of the videos um, I'm using a Jack R electric pencil sharpener as I do believe this to be my favourite for the uh, graphite pencils that I use which are Faber Castell so right um there is so much detail in this ear I will probably go quiet a lot during this but I am using my 2B black matte double one two Faber Castell for this detail here can currently hear my dog Alfie barking because he is a barker. I'm going to bring down some of this detail that I see coming through. Do you know next now that the um, lockdown has been lifted a little bit more? Um, <coughs> Next door seem to be sticking to the rules <laughs> of the previous lockdown. Weird. And yet when the rules was in place they didn't stick to them at all. I don't understand it. And anyway. Right, so this is there, isn't it? That is quite dark in there. And that goes up to basically the top of his eye still again the feathered motion lifting my pencil at the end not just going like that or colouring it in <clears throat> just small furry marks with a sharp point I'm keeping an eye on my reference photo as I go all the time 
here is not as dark but there are a few dark hairs coming through so <coughs> if that's that then that is that line there Like I say, I do apologise if I go quiet. I'm just currently just mapping out all the dark areas and then the light. down to about there's like darker bits through here and then that's like a lighter bit and then dark under here I have chosen a really difficult dog to show but I wanted to show the difference in darks and the lights and stuff so I wanted to teach how to get <coughs> could you just take time and you could you've got to have patience and stuff but if you've got them two things then you've cracked it <laughs> oh god I've got to have a lot of patience with this right so I can see there's a dark bit here for definite. There's like a triangular dark bit in here. And then it's light leading up to her hair coming down there. But then this is like dark in here. around a uh, hair uh, that is going that way or a curl and inside the curl is obviously dark and then there's a hair coming down off that curl And underneath this curl, there's like dark again. I'm just using small circular motions just to get this dark shade in, but not pressing deeply with my pencil, just press lightly on with your pen. no point in me editing these videos to edit the noise out because it, it would just be pointless with my neighbours and stuff so it's got 
have little layers coming off the side of that bit there. And here. And it's dark in here. Then this hair comes right around here from this one. But this one is a flyaway hair, so I need to make sure that I keep the flick involved on that bit <coughs> then that is the biggest tip I can give is to get it right first time don't rush and think oh I think that goes there make sure it goes there because if you rush and then it it's gonna take longer to um fix the problem than it would have done in the start to get it right that is one of the biggest tips I can give even though you're bursting to get it done see what it looks like when it's done and stuff and then I totally get you there but you just got to take your time you really do need patience when you're drawing especially such a detailed dog such as this I mean look at all the detail in that there's masses and masses of curls and stuff loads of curls and flicks and stuff around the eyes and like I said there's just a little bit of a eyebrow for the other eye so that's why we've only concentrated on one eye so um yeah <laughs> it is you have got to have so much patience so much patience so i'm gonna bring this down like i said i'm still using my 2b really lightly not pressing on hard with this at all not right now then there's a bit here that comes all the way down to about um, that bit goes up there to come back down Someone's actually got a phone, an indoor phone. Could you hear it ringing then? We don't have a house phone, just a mobile. I've not had a house phone in the house for pff, years, it's at least seven years, at least, and even then we didn't answer it if it rang. Because normally it'd be like, you know, just sales people <laughs> or something. That's got a line coming off it there. And then the line also. I don't look at it as an ear. I look at it as just lines and shapes. That's the way to look at it when you're drawing something like this. It's just lines and shapes. And then all of a sudden, boom, it's come together. And you think, oh, there it is. <laughs> There it is. There. Oh, 
husband's working on his very first commission actually asked for a, a commission like the one I've got the Hogwarts Dobby Harry Potter and Wood <laughs> it says I've got the um, original but he's making another one for someone else so that's just the shape see that's the shapes for now <laughs> um, then like um, eh. <laughs> I'll probably say eh, 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 a lot here got to remember as well nothing's straight This is how dark under here, but it's where his ear goes, so it's this way. The fur is going that way, so I'm gonna gonna leave her. Cap there, go over all this, Another tip also is to not concentrate too hard because sometimes we can, a picture can lie to you. Like, I try to have the picture like the same size, and um, like I used to draw in the boxes, but now I've like sort of don't need to do that because I've drawn about. 300 dogs now so I sort of like I can colour out the lines and try and like make sure I've coloured out all my lines inside the actual dog con um, design as well that I've drawn out take all my like initial lines out the ones that go down here I've rubbed them all out so that there's no lines coming down here to confuse me because otherwise I would probably be thinking, hmm, there's a line there. Is that supposed to be there? Nope. Uh, that's for the, um, when I was doing my boxing. So now I uh, try to rub out as much of my lines even inside the dog before I draw it. <laughs> if you know what I mean by that. Hopefully you do. So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to get my HB pencil. I know this is my HB pencil because I always put a yellow tape around the end of my HB because I use HB quite a lot and HB is very grey. So I'm putting this as very grey because it is very grey. So. I'm going over this in the way of the fur, shape of the fur, but in circular motions because I'm not actually putting any detail on yet, I'm just getting the colour down. And it's quite dark up here because it is underneath the ear. This video is possibly going to be about three hours long. It says when you're watching back as well, isn't it? So you can just zoom to when you want. <laughs> I wish I could do that. <laughs> Real well, I'm drawing him. 
but you can't you gotta take your time if you really want to learn how to draw you gotta listen to it all not just the first half hour because you're not going to learn anything that you really need to learn in the math hours uh, so now I'm going to get my stipple brush remember the one that's hardly got any bristles on from uh, video one if I am um, you haven't watched video one I suggest you go back and watch part one the eyes how to draw a graphite dog the eyes part one the eyes um, it will tell you all the tools I'm using I'll explain all the tools that I'm using I will try to explain and remember to tell you what I'm using in this one as well as future ones but if I don't and you need to know then do go back to part one if you need to remember <laughs> and I will also write in the description below what I've used I think it's even I think I've even uploaded pictures of exactly what I've used mainly what I've used so I'll just step all that in there so that it's well underneath the um so that's well underneath the grain of the paper sorry I was just just using my uh, sandboard this time to get a very sharp point on my 2B pencil I can't really show you how you do this but you just it's just just a sandboard with a piece of sandpaper and you just glide it around turn it around as you as you rub in and turn it around like that so you get a very sharp extremely sharp point on your pencil obviously clean it off not over your work I usually use my t-shirt <laughs> then I'm going to come in here and put some hair strokes because it is quite dark but you can see the hair It's quite uniformed as well, the so air. Yeah. Not 100% uniformed, but it is quite uniformed. If you are watching Karen, yes, you are the winner of the um, so far. I've got a few that I've chosen, but you're the first winner of the um, like my YouTube channel and subscribe, and I will draw you a free portrait. And this was the winner. So well done, Butts has won the competition. First, <laughs> I'm drawing some wildlife next, but I don't know if I'm going to bother uploading a video or tutorial for that. Um, because I just want to draw them and get them done. But I don't know yet. I might do. What do you reckon? Put me a comment. <laughs> do you want to see it? Do you want to see more wildlife tutorials from me? If you do, put me a comment. Coming back in with this 2B on these really dark spots again, just to darken it back up. Pressing down a little bit harder now as well. I'm going to use my 5H to try and blend all that in to the holes of the paper 
without or well, maybe I can go over that, that, that hair with this 5H because that hair is quite light so maybe go over all of that with this 5H Five H is a very hard pencil nib and very light. And I can just see holes in the paper where the graphite hasn't gone into. So I'm just basically pushing down the graphite into them holes with this five H pencil. bit into there with the pencil. I think I'll go back over this with this pen with this brush to soften all them hairs out that I put in earlier. With that two H soften them hairs back out. Get my 5H pencil and bring some hairs out here and here. There's some coming out. This way too and maybe around I will dot them out a little bit with my kneaded eraser later and I'm going to get my 4B because this is really dark I need to sharpen this up so I'm going to use my sander yet again. 4B. 
This is extremely dark on the rear, this curl. So I can use 4B that comes around like this and then up and around again and all inside there is quite dark. B blend that out. Because it's like grey at the end of that dark is grey. Then same HB for the hairs that are coming around this one is going up and around and then there's um, quite a fair amount of dark there fever today. So I'm snivelly nose and you know like sound like you've got a cold and stuff. <laughs> got my window open as well so it's a bit stupid really. Headache. HB now I think for a while. I think we're coming down coming out from the coming out of the dark, really dark anyway, and um this is gonna be light here but then dark and dark I mean light and light her. Uh,
Um, Not for me. So I am going to brush any away. So they're not so and the same with this with my brush. <laughs> this is light but then dark again. Don't know what's going on with this bit yet but I'm blending it out anyway I'm going to use my 2H because I know that there is a Dark to here. This is quite dark. So I'm going to get my kneaded eraser. Pull out some of this with my kneaded eraser. Out. 
that and get my 4B and come in on the side of my pencil with feathered fur strokes with the side of my pencil darker value to around that eye want a piece going in there and there and there but darker This to be just as dark as that now. Use my stippling brush. into those dark areas with this. Get it into that paper. Right down into the grooves of the paper. I always want to start singing Madonna's Get Into The Groove when I say that. <laughs> Get into the group. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I promise. Try and get it right. There is hairs coming in. HB for this. Just that bit there. That does a Maybe take some of this out. Cause that curl comes down about there. There's a curl, but it's light.
using my HB now to try and blend. But feather this hair in. light, light, light there, from there. Dark here. my 2B and darken these lines back up again that I blended out. There's one there. One there. back in with my, I'm going to use my um, freebie graphite stick for this, try and blend all that in the same ish. Why? Yeah, sort of there. I'm so like talking to myself as I'm drawing, aren't I? That's what it feels like. But I'm trying to, like, sort of teach you. <laughs> and then we're gonna. Hopefully, this will work. Blend this in. Here first to blend that all the same, and hopefully, blending this out will blend it lighter to give the appearance of where the light's falling on his head. Bring it round. This bit's really light, so hopefully it'll blend it out really light as well. Apart 
don't want to go too light. We do want to have the light showing on the hair, the top of the head. Right, I'm going to bring this down. it's really dark under the ears coming back in with my 2B pencil again and putting marks back in that I took out next to that is another line so I'm going to use my Tombow Mono Eraser to erase these lines back out then there's a, a hair there. Maybe another hair there. I'm going to use my um, Dovetorlian to in to blend this out because it's sort of blended but it isn't. in there. I will take that out with my pencil later. So I um, need, I'm going to use Faber-Castell Polychromos for this bit here because it is so dark. So I'm going to bring that in there that is really black under there and there as well just like around the eye that bit is really black too In the hairs in now detail with my polychromos because this is dark under here so very sharp polychromos putting some the detail in that I can see in the reference photo
really dark here. I watched a film yesterday, it was bloody horrible. Like cannibals, like people in it, like like eight human beings chopping off a leg and around and they ate it. Oh, it was a horrid, horrid film. <laughs> but you know, it was one of them that you just have to watch to get to the end to see what happened. Such a weird film. Can't remember what it was called now don't really want to, to be fair, it was a horrible film, <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, oh god, think about it, it makes me shiver, apparently it was based on a true story as well, Some of these dark probably colour and more black bits coming through here as well. Especially there. of darker coming through off this bit which is darker anyway Shows how people are bored. How it's out brushing the road now. <laughs> Where would you brush the road? Outside your house? Mm, maybe some people do. I don't know. Is it? Is it a dumb thing? <laughs> I'm gonna come in and use my F for this. I'm going to come down and bring some of this back in. I can't see, you know, my computer's just gone off. Maybe if I tilt you out a little bit. Pan, not that way. That way and... Bring you down a bit. <laughs> like I say, use my F now just to bring out these hairs. It's a bit of a hard pencil. But you can get detail in without going too dark. Got these the other day, yesterday. Well, these are really good. Um, pin fine line the drawing, drawing set from like 0.5 really dark, 0.1 really dark, 0.5 slightly dark, lighter than the dark one, and then 0.1, and then a 0.5, 0.1 light grey. Um, so yeah never had them before and they are super super fine i used one of them off camera to do a little bit more around this eye to get it super dark so i might come in with that dark on some of this as well yet i don't know yet 
you've just got to be careful when you do use markers like that but you've got to remember that you cannot rub them out so that's why I don't like use them straight away some people do are with markers um, I'd be too scared of making a mistake to be fair right, I'm going to come in with my black Faber Castell on this bit and risk putting this hair in because it's quite dark and it comes off and off again and off again and then goes around down and off 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 <laughs> oh I got to hit doing that because <laughs> you can never 100% be sure 100% that you're going to get a flick <laughs> Sometimes it just doesn't flick or it flicks too dark and when you're using polychromos it's a little bit diff more difficult to get it out. So yeah, I'm a bit cautious when using polys, when using the poly for the black. But I'm still using it here because it is quite... dark there still need to come in on this 2H and bring this in because it is down a bit contrast between the different hairs bring that back in bring them hairs back in reminder that this is light also brush and blend it all out again why are you doing that for you just blending all the lines out that you just put in the yeah, because they're not as white as the rubber makes them let's take that up into there and blend it out into this bit here Let's make it <clears throat> Let's 
make it dark. And let's go over to the other eye now. And I'm going to use my freebie graphite stick and put the obvious black line. obvious black line then there's a bit that sticks out here the bit that sticks out there and it's black as the ace of spades there and also black as the ace of spades at the top It's very dark. That bit there. It's dark ish. my colorless blender to carefully push that all into the holes this is a Prismacolor Premier colorless blender as you will see on the title and of the first one just blending this out so it's not maybe even take that one there to be fair show where the head by bringing that round there. If you do manage to get pencil on your hand somehow and it on the paper, take it off where you need it, erase it ASAP. ASAP. And then carry on. <laughs> um Looks like we're not doing the year today. I think we're going to be doing the um, the top of the head. <laughs> so, um, right. Now, I'm going to use my HB mechanical pencil for this bit. Because it is quite an obvious line. So... And to get a very obvious point, you need a very sharp edge. And that's the sharpest possible way of doing it with a mechanical pencil. Because that is... to the eye from the eye there's 
a couple of detail bits but not many Blend that back with the tortillion if I can find it. I've lost my tortillion. <laughs> Where's tortillion gone? There she is. Because she's so small, she gets lost. Go on, get to work. Blend that all back with slightly, but not pressing on with my tortillion not pressing on that's almost white there the light that shines on her on him And I'm going to use my freebie graphite stick. I'm going to put a line here and a line here and then some more lines coming down. Everything's always lined up with something. If you look at a dog, so it's always lined up. There's always a line up. Like this line is lined up with the top of the eye almost. So I know I've got to come down this way. Leaving that gap in the process I think it's around here, oh my god. I think. Oh, please be right. <laughs> I think it's about there where the top of the head comes in. Please be right. It looks right. Sort of, yeah. Just put an under layer of graphite. 
clarify um, yep <laughs> god it makes me nervous when I'm not 100% sure Just bring it, feathering it, feathering this fur down, just to the top, not the bottom, just to the top. Maybe bring one or two down. I was wrong with that bit. I'm just apple in here. <laughs> I'm just sort of like guessing how where things are and hoping that I'm right in the end. Get my brush <clears throat> and blend all this. like that gone out line don't want to do that there is some stuff that you can buy to stop this from that from happening but I don't use it which is that's uh, Molotov um, art masking fluid and basically you put it on and uh, you can draw around it and it leaves it pure white so that you don't draw on it and afterwards you just rub it off with your finger or cloth or whatever but I wouldn't advise it on pencil work really because when you're rubbing it off I suppose um, you would probably rub the pencil off with it so just bringing this down really lightly because it is really light on that side although it isn't on this side it's quite dark there so I'm going to get that rubbed into the graphite
covering all this graphite just all over the dog. <laughs> sort of like cheating in a way. But it's not because you still got a lot of work to do to find all the um, detail and put all that in. And this bit is um, quite light up here, so I'm going to have to make it known that it's there, but also keep it light which is going to be a contrast in difficulty because on the picture the background is darker and I'm not putting a background on this so I need to make sure that it's shown that it's there but oh, it's lighter than the rest of the top of the dog the top of buds so I don't know how I'm going to do that just yet. But I know that the top of the head around here is dark. Now. So I can basically put in the marks for the top of the head. Is that there? I think it is. But then I think that is around here. So it's just coming in with my 2B, marking out all these lines again. We get down to this eye bit. It's quite dark here. So I'm going to get my polychromos now and really darken this area up because I know it's dark. So it's basically <laughs> It's basically just eyebrows here. I think there is an eyeball. <clears throat> right, I'm going to get my... I want a soft 
the brush now. So I'm going to get a bigger, softer brush. This is quite a soft, bigger brush. I'm going to blend that all down there. Crazy amount of cars that are pulling up next door. That's not next door. I don't know where that one's going. Doorbell might go in a minute. Somebody said they spent two hours on the phone to claim back money. On the rules, Yana. The dish coming along, didn't he? Nicely. He's appearing nicely now. I can see him popping off onto the screen. Give him some. Yes. Lighter hairs on the front of his head. Remember this is just underneath. I will come in with a mechanical pencil and put in the fine hairs on, on his head. Clean that on my pencil a little bit, then bring these ears in through into here. These ears are going to come down here on the nose. Always follow the direction of the fur with your lines. These ears are darker, so I'm going to bring these back in. darker and shorter along the nose. So I will bring these back in to match up with the hairs. I'm going to use my big brush again. Blend it all back again. <laughs> it's all blending and taking out one of the Tombow Mono eraser now. 
to get this looking 3D. But I'm going to use my knead it eraser for this bit. Just because I know this bit here is quite light. So I need to make it look really light. Take out some of that there, and there, there. That, that's choosing to be light too, including in here and around here. Thin out, make it like you needed a razor, thin it out to like, you know, so it's very thin. So then you can pull out little hairs up and down. even in there what's he doing downstairs in out in out um now i'm going to use my h it's quite sharp so i'll do h is quite hard bring that line in there and that line in there and that line in there to show the hair that line in there to show that hair and that one's quite dark with one coming up it two coming up it very going up it. I'm going to put some lines, the first strokes in with this. Coming down his head. with the H, very sharp H. Coming down the head and now I'm going to put some detail in here. Some first strokes all going the right way. They're quite short. Some of them are darker than others, some of them are quite light, that's why I'm using H because you can get H dark or you can get it light if you want it light. 
from here. It seems that it goes, the fur comes out that way. And goes um, seems. But it comes around and towards that bit, which comes down and is dark. Just as a under layer, just put these in to show that the hair just just transform it away and changes around from down to diagonal just to get them bits in to show that it does change now from this bit here it is quite dark so from here and there's a line a hair there and a line down here so then we're talking like dots and dips and hairs that are coming downwards down towards the nose but these are all staying this way. So far, we need is a couple of hairs coming off there and this bit thankfully is dark because we do need it to be able to show I'm going to bring it in pull it in because I know for sure that a dog's hair on that side of the nose comes inwards so I'm using my pencil to pull in this side of the nose Now I'm going to use my tortillion to just pull all that in and make sure it stays pulled in.
<laughs> getting this bit to look darker than the rest is uh, proving to be difficult. Maybe use my tortillion to blend these bits out that I put in. Make it might look darker. Hair on the nose is a little bit difficult because it goes all different ways but you've got to get it right <laughs> because if you don't get it right then you are in trouble and it just won't look right and you'll be constantly looking at it and thinking there's something wrong what's wrong I've got something wrong there's something totally wrong with this and um, you find it hard to notice what it is with the fur because you really you've got to get it I would suggest getting it right first time and just concentrate just take your time just really take your time I can't stress enough how much you need to take your time honestly um, biggest thing I did when I first started was I rushed I thought I just wanted to get the piece finished and done and so I could see it and um, admire it but yeah I did I admire my work and I loved it and I was dead proud of it and I was like yay but I bet you any money if I'd have took a little bit more time I'd have been able to look back and think it was even better than I actually did. <laughs> I know what I mean. <laughs> so I know I could have done better on, well I know I could have done better on each piece that I do. But I think that's just an artist thing. We all look at our work and we think, mm, could have done better there shouldn't have put that in there or I shouldn't have done that or I should have done this and I think we all think like that so if you do start thinking like that I would not suggest you um, just stop drawing just because of it because we all think like that honestly if you just heard a seagull I know I don't live by the sea <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the little bad seaside. Nope, I don't. I don't live by the sea, unfortunately. I wish I did. It'd be lovely to be able to look out my window and see the sea. <gasps> yeah, that'd be an ideal, a happy, like, ideal place to draw. Listening to the waves of the water and the birds. I can hear the birds. That's about it. I'm coming in here now because it's a little bit dark around the rear. Probably come in and do these hairs after I've blended this graphite through onto here because I want to put some hairs in with my tomo. I always call it Tomo for some reason. Because it's a Tombow, Mono Eraser, so I call it Tomo. <laughs> Tomo! Come on, Tomo. I'm a step on scale Tom too, so there you go. Probably end up being called Tomo. Mind you, my next door neighbour's called Tomo. I think it's because he's called Thompson. Second name is Thompson, so he gets called Tomo. But it's a lot of no embarrassment about being embarrassed about being named after an er being named after an eraser. Wow, that was difficult to say. Um Gonna put some more um some more 
erase the line in and then I'm going to leave this one and jump to number three number three I am gonna do the ear I promise I will get this done this bit done off camera while I am edited the uh, this second part I will get this bit done off camera and then we'll, we'll, we'll move straight on to the year on set part two three sorry part three don't know if that's my stepson for a grow. Oh, God, I was going to go for a brew as well. I'm not going downstairs well easier. It scares me. <laughs> not that I'm scared of my son, perception or anything. I'm scared of the virus. any bugs get up. <laughs> oh, so terrified. Shut my blind window I mean. It was my stepson that was here, but I don't look like it is. So I'm just blending all this in again here.
taken out, blend in, taken out. And I'm going to add some HB hairs here. Hair marks. Because it is quite dark up here. There's one there that carries on around like that. And there. That's going round into the eye. Here's like sort of coming off there. So light, so remember to keep this white because it is light. I'm 
I actually print a picture off of her in part two, three, and uh, put it next to it so you can see what I'm exactly working on. Maybe, yeah, I might print one off so you can see what I'm working through and <laughs> what I'm having to put up with. <laughs> might print one off for part three so that comes through there that comes through there there and then off through there and there there this hair a little bit just to give the idea of more detail <laughs> and then I'm going to come through back through with my brush again just to blend it all back out again Then I darken this back up with my mechanical pencil HB. Darken up some areas in here. So I know I dark and precise. can't really keep my finger on it because if I do it will move so I need to keep my finger just above it
so it's basically a letter T ish. Grew into that. That's dark. Put a bit lighter, but that's dark. I'm definitely going to get print one off now to show you the uh, difficulty and why it will take me so I should have chose easier but I wanted to choose to the picture that was going to show you the difference in um, contrast and the values and stuff like that and I have but <laughs> it's just so difficult to go oh what have I done oh well never mind um yeah I'm just gonna blend all this together now yay stupid but Blend all that together. Get my Tombow Mono Eraser. Make sure it's clean. And then get these major white bits back out. I'm just singing away to myself while I put all these um, 
detail bits in with the mono. Be careful where you put your detail in with your mono. And then I'm going to go back over again with the brush. And then I'm going to leave this video part two here. And in part three, we'll do the ear. <laughs> So, back over, but not, try not to go over the white, white bits that you've pulled out, just like, sort of go around them, now, we'll blend that back out again. And that bit. And then that's it. Make sure that there's no obvious lines in the fur. And that you can see the difference in direction. Following direction, even with your brush. Like you're painting, sort of. And there we go, that's the top of the head complete. Gonna take some doing, I can tell and it. I'm sorry guys, I didn't think a graphite would take me as long as the colour, but this one's um very, very, very um like I say, um yeah. <laughs> Gonna be a difficult one to do. See if we can um, show you without. Oh, we'll leave that there. We'll leave that there and just bring down the iPad. There we go. That's what we've got to draw. Can you see the difference in like all the curls that I've got to do? all them curls and that bit there and all that there at the top I still not done enough and darkened it up it needs really darkening up so yeah we are we're getting there we're getting there slowly but, um, and we will. So, uh, yeah, thanks for joining me anyway, guys. If you do like, please hit subscribe and uh, keep subscribed. I've noticed people subscribe to Cheaty Cheats and then um, bugger off after I've subscribed to them. So I'm going to check who's subscribed and not subscribed to them if they're not subscribed to me because it's only fair come on guys play fair okay i'm gonna leave it at that hope you enjoy part two and i shall see you in part three thanks guys and girls bye for now take care out there